My name is Martina Mousson. I come from Switzerland. I work for GFS Bern, which is a private research institute in Switzerland. We do a lot of political, society and communication research. When I have to talk about Generation Z in Switzerland, I see many common features, features with the other countries. They are clearly digitally oriented, um, communication trends are highly dynamic, there are new tools established within one year, um, old ones uh, lose their importance, for example SMS is something young people don't use anymore, they switch to WhatsApp or Snapchat or even newer tools. They are fairly high educated generation, the women as well as the men, we are talking about the generation of women who will take over in industries and technology jobs as well. This is something new because they have um, reached an important percentage of finishers of technical um, branches. What is maybe different from other countries in Europe is that they live in a pretty comfortable situation. Economically, there is not a lot of fear of being unemployed. This is very different from Spain and Portugal. They live in a pretty secure um, bubble, I would say. They are very optimistic in regards of their own future. They are more skeptical when it comes to the whole society. What is special as well is, I think, the influence of politics. Because of direct democracy in Switzerland, which is very um, strong and very present, we have rotations four times a year on very different um, subjects. Uh, we voted on the relationship with the European Union, for example. And this is something that affects young people. And what we often have is generation um, gaps or um, generation conflicts in this uh, rotation behavior. Young people in Switzerland would have joined the European Union. All the people are clearly against it. And it's students who have to, uh, to um, carry out the burdens of uh, these decisions. So young people, they have more problems to go and study abroad than young people in Germany, for example.